Welcome back to Teacher's Helper Educational Videos. In this video, I will show you how to retell a story using a technique that is easy to remember. Have you ever told a story to a friend using details so that your friend will understand? Good readers do this while writing or explaining what a story is about. The five finger retell technique uses important parts of the story to help the reader understand what the story is about. When you think about retelling a story, I want you to think of your hand. The fingers stand for the important parts of the story that should be included in your writing or while telling a story. The fingers stand for the important part of retelling a story. So the first finger stands for characters, which could be people or pets in the story. This can include the main character or secondary characters. The second part or finger is the setting, which is the place in the story or where it takes place, and it can include the time of the day and more. The third important part of retelling a story has to include the problem. The problem is something that happened and that needs to be fixed. An example of this would be that someone lost their homework and desperately needs to turn it in tomorrow to get a good grade. The events in the story are the details about what happened. It can start from the beginning, middle, and end, and they are the most important details in the story. The last part is the solution. How did the main character solve the problem? What did he or she do to fix the problem? Okay, now that we know the five parts of the retelling process using our hand, let's practice a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is read a story called The Lion and the Mouse and go through the five step process of retelling. The Lion and the Mouse. One day, a lion slept in a jungle. A tiny mouse ran into his big paw. The lion woke up and roared, I'm sorry, lion, please don't eat me, the mouse squeaked. You wake me up, said the lion in a big voice. Mr. Lion, if you let me go, I can help you someday, the mouse begged. Ha! You are too small to help me. You are too small to eat, the lion laughed. Thank you, the mouse said and ran away. A few days later, the mouse heard the lion roaring. She quickly ran and toward the sound. She saw the lion stuck in a big net. I will help you, lion, she said to him. The lion tried to laugh, but he was sad. The mouse started chewing the ropes. Soon the lion was free. I didn't think you could do it. Thank you, the lion said. Okay, now let's go through the five finger retelling process. So the characters in the story are the lion and the mouse. The setting, which is the place, was the jungle. The problem is that the lion got caught in the net and needed help. The events in the story are the mouse ran into the lion, the mouse begged the lion not to eat him, the mouse promised the lion that he would help him if he needs it, the lion got caught in a trap, and the mouse helped the lion get free. The solution of the story, which is how the, how the characters solve the problem, is that the mouse helped the lion as he promised to. Now that we have each part of the hand, each finger, let's retell the story. I want you to pause the video to see if you can use the elements of the story to retell it. Remember that you can use your own words to come up with retelling the story, but it should include the parts that we discuss. So, the lion and the mouse were in the jungle. The mouse asked the lion to help and promised to help the lion if he needed it. The lion got trapped and the mouse upheld his promise by helping the lion. So how did you do? Now I hope you're understanding how to retell a story. Let's try this process again with another story. The title of this story is called The Thirsty Crow. The Thirsty Crow. It was a hot day. A crow was very thirsty. His mouth was dry. His throat was burning. He flew from place to place in search of water but there was not a drop of water anywhere. Rivers and lakes had all dried up. At last, he saw a jug of water near a house. He went to the jug and looked into it. There was little water at the bottom of the jug. The crow could see the water, but could not reach it. 
Suddenly, an idea flashed in his mind. He picked up stones one by one from the ground and dropped them into the jug. The water started coming up. Soon the crow could reach it easily. He drank the water, he called happily and flew away. Okay, now I want you to think about the five parts of retelling. You can pause the video to see if you can come up with the five finger retail by yourself. Retelling this story should look something like this. The crow was thirsty. The rivers were dried up. He saw a jug of water near a house. He dropped the stones in the water jug to make it come out. He drank the water. Now that you know the process of retelling, I want you to try to practice this on your own with a story that you may have read. You can also try the five finger retail with a chapter book as well. Try this with a partner to see if you understand the gist of the story and what you are reading. Remember these five steps, character, setting, problem, events, and solution. Not every story has a problem and a solution. So telling the events of the story is very important starting from the beginning, middle, and end. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for other videos like this. Feel free to comment below on other reading and education videos you would like to see. Thank you.